Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with a quick little one box break of 2024 Panini Select WNBA. Random team break, yep, chasing some Caitlin Clarks, all card ship, comboed up some teams right there. Um, big thanks to this group for making it happen. There are the teams. So the comments are comboed with the Shock and Monarchs, right? Yeah, Shock and Monarchs. Let's actually separate those. Those are three different teams right there. There we go. And let's roll it. Randomize both names and teams. Two and a four. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got Joe down to Aaron. And two and a four. Six times for the teams. One, two, three. Three, four, five, and six. We got the New York Liberty down to the Sparks. All right, Joe, you got the New York Liberty guy with the Indiana Fever. Aaron with the Mystics. Last ball mojo. Joe with the Lynx. Aaron with the Mercury and Wings. David with the Chicago Sky, Joe with the Seattle Storm, David with the uh, Charlotte Stink, Guy with the Comets, Shock, and Monarchs combo, Aaron with the Sun, Joseph with the Dream, Guy with the Aces, and Aaron with the Los Angeles Sparks. Let's sort by team name right here. And we're gonna pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. So stick around, be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so the list remains the same here on a Sunday. A little one box break, random team number four on a Sunday. There it is. Aaron with Last Pod Mojo. We've got three boxes left here. The next one box break is in the store. So with the dice, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So bottom box, we'll save these two for next time. There it is. Five cards. There, there's the. There it is. The select basketball, debut edition. Two autographs, one memorabilia card on average. That's right. Happy Sunday and happy Shohei being okay. He's going to start the next game. Not not necessarily, can't count chickens right now, but but obviously an ideal start for the uh, for my Dodgers. Uh, that, that game one, probably one of the most incredible, at least for my team, one of the most incredible games I've seen. And then for a second there, I thought the Yankees were going to return the favor, but Dodgers pitching got out of it. Travel day today. Another game tomorrow. What's the weather going to be like out in New York City? In L.A., it was beautiful. It was 5 o'clock starts, and it was right at sunset. But I think uh, it's 8 o'clock starts in New York. Five o'clock in LA. We've got for the sky forty one I send five Mariah Jefferson. And that's Kate Martin for the Vegas Aces.
Owned by uh, owned by Mark Davis, the Raiders owner. Joe says, "Perfect weather, a little cool." What's what's cool? Cool to cool to the West Coast is is not the same as cool for East Coasters who could handle this a little bit better than us. It was good, Sean. I, we went to a nice Mexican restaurant at a new casino resort in Vegas called Durango. Fancy, not not really a fancy, it looks fancy, but the prices are actually really good and the food was incredible. Um, there's Nancy Lieberman, 67 out of 99. For the Mercury, old Phoenix Mercury going to Aaron. And we, uh, I got a table we got a table where where right above my right above my mom's head my mom would be right in front of me and right above her head was uh, was the game there was the bar and the game it was awesome here's Lexi Brown to 125 for the Sparks my Sparks Aaron true mid 50s even at night like at eight o'clock nine o'clock. If so, that's that is actually pretty good. We got Diamond Miller, uh, tie dye for the uh, Minnesota Lynx. Joe with the Lynx, fourteen out of twenty-five. She is, yeah. My mom is a bit of a baseball fan. It's Mariah Jefferson to one forty-nine. Believe it or not. My mom actually enjoys watching Lakers basketball a little more than Dodgers baseball. But yeah, she 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 enjoys she she knows the fundamentals of the game. She knows the stakes of the playoffs. It's Lauren Jackson. I don't think she's running fancy teams or anything like that, but she knows enough. Joe with the Seattle Storm. There's Cameron Brink to 149. Now we're gonna, David. We're gonna we're gonna refrain from any politics here in the, in the chat, David Farley. Appreciate your thoughts though. You know, it's everywhere else. Let's let this be the place where we don't have that. You guys can deal with that everywhere else. Aaron with the sparks. I know I do. It's gonna be a close one though. Get out and vote, people. There's Caitlin Clark and Fuego. Guy with the Indiana Fever. I think they fired their coach recently. I guess they're gonna figure something else out for Caitlin. We got Alicia Clark, 23 out of 49, for the Aces. It's going to be for Guy and the Vegas Aces. I'm pretty sure they fired their coach. Yeah, Indiana Fever earlier today. At least the Indiana Fever announced it eight hours ago that they're parting ways with head coach Christy Sides. Don't know why. You know, in two years, I guess two years, she posted a 33 and 47 record, but she did lead the team to their first postseason victory. Well, it's also my First Amendment right to not have that as well. Ooh, and a Kalen Clark autograph. So it, uh, so our First Amendment rights have balanced each other out. It's they're offsetting, offsetting penalties. There's the autograph. I, I don't know. This is the draft selections autograph, so it might not be the base auto, but we'll take it. Not 
not sure if the uh not sure if the WNBA really marketed Kaylin Clark as, as much as they should have. Should have just really leaned into it, but they didn't. But it'll they'll be fine. Yeah, they made the playoffs. <laughs> That's right, I do, I do trump you. Um, there's Lauren Jackson to 75. Yeah, this is my show as well. Yeah, I mean, people deal with this stuff all the time. We, this, we, don't, we don't want this to be that kind of place. Uh, here's Angel McCourty. Uh, for the dream. That's the Atlanta dream. That's for Joe. I have to, I'm, I have to admit, I don't follow this too closely, but, you know... I know on the secondary market they uh, on the secondary market they do have. I mean, I know the Caitlin Clarks do on the secondary market, but you might be surprised at some of the some of the other players as well. I know Cameron Brink. She did her ACL, I think, earlier this season, so she her season never really got on track. But you know, there's some low key good secondary market value hunting there. Even if you don't know or care about the WNBA, you know, it's something to kind of try and get into because there's others that are. So give it a shot. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserace.com. We've got another one boxer in the store, so check it out, and I'll see you next time for the next WNBA break. Bye-bye.